Born on a farm in Greeley, Colorado in 1941, Don Carlson loved playing sports at a young age. He and his older brother Gene, a 2011 MHS Hall of Fame inductee, competed against each other for hours every single day, which developed Don's hand-eye coordination earlier than most. The Carlsons moved to McMinnville when Don was six, and by the time he entered Mack High as a freshman in 1956, he was known as a standout athlete. He lettered three times in football as a quarterback, earning the starting spot as a junior. Don was a skillful leader who led by example, guiding the Bears to two league championships and two state playoff appearances while winning 89% of their games. He earned an all-league first team and an all-state honorable mention selection as a junior, and as a senior, Don repeated on the all-league first team and added an all-state second team selection to his individual achievements. He played in the state all-star shrine game to cap off an excellent MHS football career. Just that quiet leadership that, that I remember so well, that he just, he just had control and everybody followed him because he was a very good passer. We were very, very successful. And like I had mentioned earlier, I think Don is the reason why we were so successful. Don lettered three years on the varsity basketball team, starting as a guard for the final two. He used his naturally calm and collected nature to gain an advantage in clutch situations when the game was in the balance. Don consistently called the right plays and made the correct choices, which led the Grizzlies to one league championship, one district championship, and into the state tournament all three years, finishing as high as eighth place once. As a senior, he earned an all-league honorable mention before retiring from the sport with a winning percentage of 84%. It was just his total leadership in getting everything to run properly. If we lost the ball, he'd get back on defense, played really good defense, maybe didn't get as much credit as, as he probably should have. You know, I, I think, I just think he was that catalyst that made the whole thing work for us. On the baseball diamond is where Don shined the brightest, as he started as a utility player which meant he filled in at every position all four years. And he was the only freshman that I know uh, had started for the baseball team, even through the years that I coached and Ross coached. And he did a great job. He split time fairly equally on the bases as well as in the field, but mostly he was used at shortstop and for his great pitching abilities. Don's years were one of the best eras in Mack High baseball, as he led the Bears to winning seasons and league title and state playoff contention each and every year. Don was rewarded on the all-league first team as a junior and senior to finish his Mack High career. Fundamentally, as a ninth grader, he was exceptional, or he wouldn't have been starting in right field. And each year that uh, I watched him as sophomore, sophomore to, up to his senior year and into college, he got better. After graduating in 1959 as a high Y and concert band member, along with being the M Club Vice President, Don enrolled at Linfield College to pursue dual degrees in political science and history. He lettered on the varsity football team as a backup quarterback in his first two years, but chose to retire from the sport with a 66% career winning percentage to focus solely on baseball. His specialization paid off as he quickly became the most versatile Wildcat playing every position, but mostly pitcher. He developed as a strong contact hitter who got on base with regularity, and Don never got rattled on the mound as he rarely made mistakes. He's still second all-time in Linfield's history in single-season lowest ERA with 0.68. He lettered, started, won the conference championship, and went to the NAIA playoffs all four years making him one of the winningest players in Wildcat history with a career percentage of 65%. Upon his graduation in 1963, Don was accepted in Syracuse's graduate program for public administration, where he competed on intramural basketball teams before obtaining his master's the following year. Since 1964, Don and his new bride Darlene, who were high school sweethearts since freshman year, moved to Portland to start a family, as Don worked for the city resolving several land development and preservation along with governmental issues. He's worked for City Hall, the Metropolitan Study Commission, as the director of the Boundary Commission, 
and as a business service manager for Multnomah County Human Services. He helped create the Metro, which unified counties in Portland, while serving as its deputy director and as council administrator until his retirement in 2005. During that time, Don's kept active by competing in various marathons, coaching his children in soccer, little league, and softball, which inspired him to found the Southeast Soccer Club that still exists today. He's enjoyed golfing for decades, as well as serving as chairman of Portland's Public Golf Courses Advisory Committee, but his proudest accomplishments are assisting on several political campaigns, such as one that saved Cleveland High School from permanent closure in 1981, and of course, his family of two children and eight grandkids.